UNESCO Commission. Dr. Kathleen Ferrier, let's give him a warm, let's give her a warm welcome to the stage. <laughs> Hello, Kathleen, how are you? I'm very fine on this great day. It is it's a very special occasion. Day. Yes. yes. Would you do us the honor and say us an opening address, please? It's my honor. Dear guests, dear Lampros family, your family, it is an honor and a pleasure to be here today at the inaugural event for our UNESCO Chair in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science for Society. The Netherlands Commission for UNESCO is delighted to strike up this enduring partnership with Lampros Terjolas and the De Hague University of Applied Sciences. Artificial intelligence systems are already being used all around the world, as we know, in almost all areas of people's daily lives. Therefore, there is no doubt that artificial intelligence artificial intelligence will continue to change and to shape our societies like few technological innovations have done before. It often does so in ways that are beneficial, by applying deep learning algorithms, for instance, medical professionals can be assisted in interpreting CT scans. Another example are automatic subtitles, which are rapidly making films and TV series more accessible to non-native speakers and to people with hearing loss. In this way, artificial intelligence helps to promote intercultural dialogue. But the use of artificial intelligence has negative effects too. On social media, bots are spreading disinformation and even hate speech. The environmental impact of artificial intelligence is also a concern. While a robot hand may be able to solve a Rubik's Cube, the energy used in solving the task is equivalent to what a nuclear power plant produces over the course of three hours. Last year, UNESCO's 193 member states adopted the recommendation on the ethics of artificial intelligence. Because artificial intelligence is changing, not just the Netherlands, but the entire world, it was high time for a global ethical framework on artificial intelligence. The UNESCO recommendation takes a comprehensive look at the impact. Artificial intelligence systems can have on our societies and individuals the impact it can have. It encourages member states and other AI actors to make sure that artificial intelligence applications have a positive impact on humanity and to take great care to develop and use tools that are in themselves already not a threat to fundamental human rights. Within this context, data and its openness will serve as fundamental inputs to open new frontiers for artificial intelligence, but also to ensure the transparency and ethical grounding of artificial intelligence solutions. And I'm really happy to note that the chair has already started to work with the communication and information sector of UNESCO to advance the frontiers of data and openness of data to foster stronger access to information. The recommendation takes a holistic approach, covering areas such as education, culture, labor and health. Crucially, it stresses the importance 
of bringing together many different societal stakeholders when discussing the ethics of artificial intelligence. Only such an inclusive approach will guarantee that we develop applications that are credible, safe, and transparent. The chair of AI and data science for society is ideally positioned to play a leading role in the uptake and the scaling on human-centric, fair, and open AI. It is part of an institution, the Hague University of Applied Sciences, which has been, and it was said already, a UNESCO school for over a decade. This means that the university is committed, like the chair, to the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. The chair seeks to promote human-centric applications and responsible practices. It focuses on three core issues. Driving innovation in healthcare, advancing social innovation on topics such as the energy transition and smart cities, and developing AI-enabled and data-driven educational programs. Over the past year, the chair's international network has continued to expand as partnerships have been, have been initiated with stakeholders in applied AI and data science in the global south. In the Netherlands, the chair is, in some aspects, a pioneer. It was already said by Dr. Minneman, the bachelor in Applied Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, which was launched this year, was the first of its kind in this country. And it should come as no surprise then that the chair has high ambitions. It is aimed at becoming a thought leader in the human dimension of artificial intelligence. Another goal is to develop an interdisciplinary research program that is state-of-the-art and practice-based. The Netherlands Commission for UNESCO is delighted that we have you, Lampros Tergiolas, as our chair in this field. We encourage his ambitions and we will do our part in supporting Lampros in promoting responsible artificial intelligence practices and creating solutions that benefit society at large. As a chair, and it was already stressed by Dr. Minneman, he will join a network of 13 ambitious and motivated UNESCO chairs in the Netherlands whose work spans the fields of, for instance, human rights, the conservation of heritage, sustainable development, and open education. But just as important is it that the chair is now part of a global UNESCO chairs network, comprised of over, over 900 chairs in 114 countries. A number of these chairs as well as the team at UNESCO's headquarters in Paris, have a special interest in the ethics of artificial intelligence and will undoubted, undoubtedly prove to be a valuable contact to the chair at the Hague University of Applied Sciences for the years to come. As I said at the start of my speech, artificial intelligence is all around us. Promoting responsible artificial intelligence practices that will bring us close to attaining the sustainable development goals is therefore of the utmost importance. We look forward to supporting the chair's initiatives for practical artificial intelligence solutions that can be of benefit.
for the society at large. And we wish our new chair all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ferrier.